The JWST keeps breaking its own record and finding older and older galaxies, but what can these galaxies tell us about things like dark matter and galaxy evolution? It all began with Glass Z13, a galaxy whose light we're seeing that was emitted from when the universe was only 330 million years old. Then a whole bunch more showed up. And some of them could be so far away that they're giving us a glimpse of the universe when it was only 180 million years old. One thing that seems relatively consistent though, is that galaxies seem to grow a lot faster than we thought they do. This can tell us a lot of interesting things about what dark matter is, or rather, isn't. In the very early universe, space wasn't entirely uniform. It had these sort of little fluctuations in density so that some regions were denser than others. Matter would want to fall into those denser regions under gravity. And the only type of matter that could do that in the early universe without getting pushed out by radiation pressure is the kind that doesn't interact with light, dark matter. The speed or energy that dark matter has in the early universe will tell us what kind of structure it was able to form. If dark matter moved really fast in the early universe, then it would pass by the smaller density fluctuations, essentially washing out a lot of the small scale structure like dwarf galaxies that we see today. So it would form larger structures, but it would also take longer. The slower it moves, the more it would fall into smaller density fluctuations, and so we'd see a lot more small scale structure like dwarf galaxies. And galaxy formation forms a lot earlier in the universe. Seeing these really well formed galaxies so early in the universe will make it a little bit more difficult for the warmer or hotter models of dark matter to be able to fit the data. So the more that we learn about early galaxies from the JWST, the more we'll learn about how dark matter behaves and therefore what it might be.